Now, over in Italy, the death toll from Wednesday's powerful earthquake has risen to the hundreds, at least 247 as of now, with at least 368 others injured. Rescue efforts are ongoing, but the number of casualties is likely to rise. Meanwhile, on the other hand, um, another quake on Wednesday on the other side of the globe damaged scores of ancient temples and pagodas. Now, this in Myanmar. Our Hwang Wojun has the latest. An entire town virtually leveled. Once considered one of Italy's most beautiful towns, what remains of the medieval town of Amatrice in central Italy is the aftermath of a devastating 6.2 magnitude earthquake that shook the country on Wednesday. Sites where buildings, towers, and bridges stood are now covered with piles of debris. Survivors from the tremor were forced to set up tents to spend the night. Some, even with their homes still standing, refused to sleep indoors. There's no way I'll step foot in my house even if nothing happened to my house. I'm too scared. Thousands of workers are frantically digging through the rubble to find more survivors amid instances of hope and rescue miracles. But despite the ongoing efforts, the death toll is continuing to rise. The epicenter of the powerful earthquake is located about 10 kilometers southeast of the city of Norcia and about 170 kilometers northwest of Rome. Since then, several aftershocks, all with considerable force, have continued to hit the already devastated region. Italy is known to be prone to powerful earthquakes as the region is very close to where the Eurasian and African tectonic plates collide, creating massive seismic and volcanic activities. Moreover, the Apennines Mountains, dubbed the geological spine of Italy, hold smaller fault lines which cause shallow earthquakes, similar to Wednesday's tremor. In 2009, the L'Aquila region, also in central Italy, was left with more than 300 people dead and some 10,000 buildings damaged after it was hit by a magnitude 6.3 quake. Countries and leaders from around the world have been offering their condolences to the victims of the earthquake. The Korean government also expressed its grievance, wishing for Italy's speedy recovery from this catastrophe. Meanwhile, within hours of the Italy quake, a 6.8 magnitude tremor hit central Myanmar, leaving at least three people dead and damaging scores of ancient temples and pagodas. Experts say, however, the two quakes were in no way related. On Thursday, the Myanmar government sent swarms of soldiers and police to the sites to protect and rebuild the damaged temples. Huang Wujun, Arirang News.